Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this triangle uh, ABC that consists of a bunch of uh, smaller triangles as you can see in this uh, diagram such that the area of these uh, smaller triangles are 30, 40, 35 and 84 square units. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded triangle and we are also going to calculate the area of this uh, yellow triangle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution and since we are interested in finding the area of this uh, blue and uh, yellow triangles, let me label this triangle. Let's suppose the area of this uh, blue triangle is x square units and the area for this uh, yellow triangle is y square units. And now let's recall this crucial concept. Triangles with the same height uh, will have areas whose ratio is the same as the ratio of their bases as you can see in this uh, diagram. In other words, we are going to have a proportion, the area of this uh, red uh, triangle divided by this uh, area of uh, blue triangle is going to be equal to the base of this uh, red triangle divided by the base of uh, this uh, blue triangle. And now let me go ahead and give you a quick uh, proof how this could be possible. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle that consists of two smaller triangles. Let me assume that this uh, triangle has area a sub 1 and the area for this one uh, is a sub 2 and let's assume that this is the height uh, h for both of these uh, triangles and now let's assume the base uh, of uh, this uh, triangle is uh, a and the base of this uh, triangle is b and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times the base uh, times height. Now let's focus on this uh, left hand side uh, triangle. Its area is represented by a sub 1. So the area a sub 1 is going to be a half times uh, its base is a and height is h. So I can write uh, a times uh, h. So this area a sub 1 equals to a times h divided by 2. Now let's focus on this uh, right hand side uh, triangle. Its area is represented by a sub 2 and that is going to be equal to a half times uh, base is b and its height is once again h. So this could be written as b times h divided by 2. Now let's go ahead and take a ratio of these uh, two areas. In other words, uh, I can write a sub 1 divided by a sub 2 equals to a sub 1 equals to a times h divided by 2 all over a sub 2 equals to b h divided by 2. Let me go ahead and write down b h divided by 2. And now we can see this h divided by 2 and h divided by 2 they are gone. So therefore our ratio a sub 1 divided by a sub 2 turns out to be equal to a divided by b. So therefore we are going to use uh, this uh, concept in solving this given uh, problem. And here's our next step. Let's focus uh, on these uh, two triangles. Let's assume the base of this uh, left hand uh, triangle is uh, a and the base of this uh, right hand side triangle is uh, lowercase b. Now the total area inside uh, this uh, whole uh, triangle is uh, 30 plus 35 plus x. Let me go ahead and write down x plus 35 plus 30 and that is going to be equal to x plus 65. And now let's focus on the right hand side the triangle. Their combined area is going to be 84 plus y plus this 40 and if we add everything that is going to give us y plus uh, 124 and now we are going to create the ratios by using uh, this uh, formula so our this uh, area on the left hand side is going to be x plus uh, 65 
divided by the area on the right hand side is y plus 124 equals to uh, their base is a and the base for the other one is lowercase b let me go ahead and label this our equation number one and here's our next step let's focus on these two smaller triangles and uh, their height is uh, same and once again the base for this uh, left hand side uh, triangle is a and the base for this uh, right hand side triangle is b so therefore we are going to use this formula once again for these uh, two smaller triangles so that is going to be our area is 30 divided by 40 equals to a divided by b and now here we can see this zero and zero cancels out so therefore three divided by four is going to be equal to a divided by b let me go ahead and call this our equation number two and now let's go ahead and compare equations one and two we can see the right hand sides are same so therefore we can equate their left hand sides as well so therefore i can write uh, x plus uh, 65 divided by y plus uh, 124 equals to 3 divided by 4 let's cross uh, multiply and uh, we are going to get uh, 4x plus uh, 260 equals to 3y plus 300 and 72 and now let's go ahead and subtract uh, negative 260 and uh, 3y from both sides so we can see that this is gone and this is gone as well on the left hand side we got uh, 4x minus 3y turns out to be 112 let me go ahead and call this our equation number three and here's our next step let's focus on these uh, two triangles this one the bottom one and this uh, right hand side one let me go ahead and label this base of triangle as c and the base of uh, this uh, triangle is going to be lowercase d and now we are going to repeat the very same uh, process once again and here we can see our combined area for this uh, triangle is going to be 35 plus 30 plus 40 that is going to give us 105 square units and likewise the combined area for this big triangle is going to be x plus y plus 84 so i can write x plus y plus 84 so therefore we are going to apply this uh, formula once again to get a ratios of these uh, triangles so the ratio is going to be 105 divided by x plus y plus 84 is going to be equal to their corresponding bases are c and d so i can write uh, c divided by d let me go ahead and call this our equation number four now let's focus on these uh, two smaller triangles so their ratio is going to be by using this formula is going to be 35 divided by x is going to be equal to c divided by d let me call this as our equation number five and now let's go ahead and compare equations four and five we can see the right hand sides are same so we can equate the left hand sides as well so therefore we can write 105 all over x plus y plus 84 equals to 35 divided by x and now let's go ahead and multiply both sides by 1 divided by 35 on the left hand side and uh, 1 divided by 35 on the right hand side uh, as well and we can see that this 35 goes into 105 three times and here 35 and 35 is gone so we ended up with the 3 divided by x plus y plus 84 equals to 1 divided by 
x and now let's go ahead and cross uh, multiply so therefore we are going to have a 3x equals to x plus y plus 84 now let's go ahead and move uh, x and y on the left hand side as you can see in this uh, next step let's go ahead and combine the like terms so that is going to give us 2x minus y equals to 84 now we can see we got this equation and this equation 3 we are going to use the elimination method to solve for x and y so therefore i'm going to multiply this whole equation both sides by negative 2 so if we distribute that is going to give us uh, let me call this our equation uh, number uh, six and now we can see we got a system of uh, two equations and we are going to solve for x and y by using uh, this elimination uh, method and now let's go ahead and add these two equations we can see that this cancels out uh, with this one so we are going to get on the left hand side uh, negative one y equal to negative 56 uh, on the right hand side and now we can see we can cancel out these uh, negative uh, signs so therefore our y value turns out to be 56 and now we are going to solve for x by substituting this y equal to 56 value in this uh, equation 3 and here's our equation 3 i'm going to replace this y by 56 as you can see in this uh, next step i have replaced this y by 56 over here and in this uh, next step uh, 3 times 56 uh, is going to give us 168 and now let's add 168 from both sides this is gone so therefore 4x turns out to be 280 now let's divide both sides by 4 so therefore our x value turns out to be 70 square units so that's our this uh, blue triangle x uh, area turns out to be 70 square units and for this uh, yellow triangle y area is going to be 56 square units and thus here's the area of the blue triangle as well as the yellow triangle thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye